we all know that the Sony a7C is quite old now and there is a new one coming out or a new two coming out apparently. So it is still the rumors, it is still in rumors and everything, but I do wanna quickly just go through the specs or supposedly what these cameras are gonna have. And is it gonna be a worthwhile upgrade if you're looking for something smaller like the Sony a7C? So the two models that they are talking about releasing at the moment is a Sony a7C II. Okay, I'll go through some of the specs that um, they have released or that have been rumored to have. And then the Sony a7C R2. Okay, so this is obviously gonna be the higher megapixel, higher higher tier camera. So the two different versions. So um, I don't know if you guys have seen on YouTube, but Andrea Pizzini, sorry if I'm ruining your, your surname, Andrea Pizzini, Pizzini? Uh, photography, he basically releases all the Sony rumors and everything like that, and he, he's often pretty much on point with all of them, so go check him out and give him a follow. Um, this is basically where I'm getting this information from, so I'm just gonna read it off. So the Sony a7C II, what we're looking at is the same autofocus as the Sony a7R5, five axis stabilization, 10 frames per second, same LCD screen of the a7 IV, um, so it won't have that a7 V. Uh, R5 fully articulating screen, it's the four axis screen. Um, 4K 60p, so now here's my sort of issue, is they don't state whether it's 10 bit or not for the A7C2. Um, so that's gonna be quite a factor uh, for me. Auto framing like the ZVE1, so you guys remember the ZVE1 has its own framing where it kind of punches in and it almost looks like you have a second camera person. Um, 2.36, million dot viewfinder and then obviously they're sticking to the one card slot this is obviously to keep the camera nice and small then the sony a7 cr which is going to be the same autofocus as the a7 r5 um, same ibis as the r5 10 frames per second it'll have the same screen as the r5 uh, 4k 60 10 bit 422 so here they state that it is 10 bit 422 which is what i'm looking for in video um having the cameras that I have now and having obviously the Sony a7 IV, I will not um, buy a camera if I'm gonna be using it for video if it does not have 10 bit 422 because this honestly has been a game changer coming from the a7C and a7 III um, for me. One, one card slot and 2.36 uh, million dot viewfinder. Okay, so let's break this down into photography and video firstly. So for photography, what's important for you for photography? Okay, if you want more megapixels and you maybe have an A7C and you're looking to upgrade, then 100% more megapixels. Go to the 33 megapixels of the A7C2 or the A7CR2. So that will give you the 61 megapixels. So it really is up to you. M me personally, I think 61 megapixels would be too much, um, mainly because I don't need that many. Um, in terms of cropping in, sure it's great, but the file sizes is too large. Um, I would much rather stick to the 33, whoops, I would much rather stick to the 33 megapixels of my a7 IV and then of supposedly the a7C2 as well. So let's just have a quick chat about this. So basically your a7, your a7CR, uh, you're looking at like a higher tier camera. So this is gonna be much closer towards the a7R5. We'll see if that 60, the 4K 60p is cropped. Let's talk about photography specs real first. So if that screen, if you want that screen and you want that AI focusing tools and that punch in and follow focus and everything, um, then it would be a worthwhile upgrade in terms of photography, as well as the 61 megapixels. I think on the a7C2, we're just gonna be looking at the 33 megapixels, very similar to the Sony a7R4, um, which for me is kind of the best spot in terms of megapixels, your file sizes aren't too big. I mean, yes, the new AI features and everything, the focus would be great. Um, so if you're looking at photography, that's kind of what you're weighing up here. But ideally, in my opinion, if you've had a camera from the past few years, I think there's no reason to upgrade in terms of photography as they haven't done very much. Yes, there's no new autofocus, new this, new that, but like it hasn't increased to a point where you really are gonna struggle. So if you have anything from the A7 III upwards, I think you're fine. You don't need any more than that. Um, it's when it comes to video. I think video, we've made quite a, quite a drastic improvement over the few years. Um, so going to that 10 bit and the 4K all the way up to 120 with some of these cameras, which is insane. Um, obviously some are shooting now 6K, 8K, 6K downsample. 
Um, so this is where the big difference comes in is when we're shooting 10 bit color especially. I personally have noticed with the A7 IV um, such a big difference coming from the A7C or the A7 III to the A7 IV in terms of video. It just gives you so much more color. Those colors hold together so much nicely. It gives you so much more play when you're color grading and the quality of video is just superb. So um, I think when it comes to video and that's when it gets a little bit more tricky. A7C two. let's start. Let's say it's the base model that they're basically supposedly gonna be bringing out towards the end of the month. Um, this they say shoots up to 4K 60. Now again, didn't state whether it was 10 bit or not. So this is gonna be a bit of a thing for me, right? Um, if it is not 10 bit on that A7C two, I would not upgrade to it. Yes, you get the 33 megapixels, but I assume it would be a baby A7 IV. So I assume it would have that 10 bit um, 422 color. So in that case, it would be a worthwhile upgrade from the A7C as you are getting those video editions, as well as everything else, obviously, the autofocus and stuff like that. But I'm more worried about the color. Um, and then the A7C R2, this is when you're looking at, again, they did say it's 10, but color up to 60. I don't need more than 60, I'm happy with that. I think the A7C R2 would be more when you are looking for more megapixels. That's when you'd want more megapixels and maybe aren't too worried as much about the video and you're looking for that fancy multi floppy RT screen that the A7 um, R5 has. So those would kind of be my reasons to upgrade. I would love to have one all round camera where I could do photos and videos at the same time in a small compact case. The other thing is, this is a much smaller body than the a7 IV and it has very much similar specs, if not slightly better than the a7 IV. So now overheating is always something we need to think about. Is this camera gonna overheat? We don't know yet, as well as pricing. Where is this gonna be priced? Apparently a little more than the a7 IV and then the a7, the a7R, the A7CR2 is gonna be a little less than the A75. So that is quite a price jump from the original A7C. This was quite, the A7C was quite an affordable camera. Um, and now the price is above the A7 IV. Okay. So that, that is quite a price jump. Um, I don't know who they're trying to target with this. I don't think it's no longer the, the beginner range, but I, I, I don't know just yet what they're gonna be pricing it at, but hopefully, hopefully I'm hoping that at least the A7C2 is gonna be a little less than that A7 IV. Um, that would make it a worthwhile purchase. If, if it goes too far above, then it's it's starting to get a bit out of reach. Um, yeah, so that that's my, my opinion is about the new and upcoming A7C2 and A7C R2. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see about the overheating. We'll have to wait and see um, what the full specs of that camera are and kind of where it sits in terms of that pricing. But I'm very excited to hear about it. Um, it should be out sometime towards the end of the month or it should be announced sometime towards the end of the month. So in the next uh, two to three months, we should be seeing that um, on sale finally. Which also means guys that the Sony a7C is currently on special with the new version coming out. You can pick up the Sony a7C, which is still a fantastic camera. Like I don't want to downplay how good of a camera this still is. The compactness, the, the quality you get, you shoot 4K video still. I mean, depending on who you are and what your needs are, a phenomenal camera, um, still worth getting today, I think in 2023. For me, my compact setup um, that I can just take out and shoot photos uh, for putting myself personally or traveling with or something, ideal. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy the information and if you do enjoy the videos that I make, please like and subscribe. Um, it really does help. Uh, thank you again, guys. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you guys take it easy.